you. Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless your holy name, Lord, for this wonderful day, Lord, and the first day of the year on our great physician hour. Father, we bless your holy name because you are our healer, you are our father, you are our provider. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness, O Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you because you are greater than any challenge in our life. Accept our thanks, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, we want to praise your name, Lord, this morning for your loving kindness and your mercy over our life, over our family. Father, Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, our Father, many of us, O Lord, we have come this morning because we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And Father, Lord, as we reach our hands towards you this morning, as you reach forward, Lord, today, Lord, to touch the hem of your garment and, Lord, to receive our healing, Lord, we do pray that there will be healing manifestation, that the power of your healing will flow through, Lord, as many know, Lord, that need your touch this morning. Father, Lord, we pray that, O oh Lord, our healer, that you will move among us, O oh Lord, and that you will heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we're asking, Lord, you are a faithful God. We ask that you forgive us of any sin, that, Lord, that will weaken our trust in you, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, forgive us of any sin that will cause us to doubt your love for us and for our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for the precious blood of Jesus Christ that has been shed for the redemption of our sin, for the forgiveness, and even for our healing. Lord, we thank you because by the stripe of Jesus Christ we are healed. So, Heavenly Father, we bless your name for what you are going to do this morning in our life, in our family. Oh, hallelujah to your name lord this morning in the name of jesus christ let us sing there is power uh, there is nothing can wash us the blood of jesus christ there is power in the blood let us sing it this morning what can wash away our sin nothing nothing but the blood has washed away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus And what has made me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the 
it washes white as snow and that is why the, our confidence is in that power the blood of jesus christ that whatever be the sickness this morning the blood of jesus christ will dissolve it in the name of jesus christ so let us open our bible to psalm 91 make our confession loud and clear this morning for psalm 91 Psalm 91, let us read it together this morning. Say, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely, He will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for it will command its angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, and you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loved me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. If you believe that word of God that you just come, you know, declare is true, why don't you offer praises unto him? Praise him for his promises. Because he has promised, he will never fail. Great is the promises of the Lord. This morning, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all your promises, O Lord, that we have read now, Lord. We have declared it, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are our refuge. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us begin to pray. I soak my, my life, my blood, my bone, my flesh in the wonder-working power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak my blood, my bones, my flesh in the wonder-working power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We just sang it. There is power. There is healing in the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I soak my blood, my bones, my flesh in the water working power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Blood of Jesus, laminate my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, laminate my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, laminate my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity. Lord, I pray this morning, let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy Ghost fire, born all disease deposit in my body to ashes in the name of jesus christ holy ghost fire born all deposit of diseases in my body burn them to ashes in the name of jesus christ blood holy ghost fire born all disease deposit in my body to ashes in jesus name amen i barricade my body from every invasion or by disease germs in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, because I soak my life in the blood of Jesus, I barricade my body from every invasion by disease germs in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. If there's anything I'm fitting or swallow, 
presently walking against my head. In the name of Jesus, be dissolved by the power of God and be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything I fit in or swallow, presently walking against my head. In the name of Jesus, be dissolved. Be dissolved by the power of God and by be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything I've eaten or swallowed, presently walking against my head, in the name of Jesus, be dissolved by the power of God, in the name of Jesus. Anything my children or any member of my household are fitting or swallow, presently walking against their heads, in the name of Jesus Christ, be dissolved by the power of God and be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. My body. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Reject and resist every killer disease in the name of Jesus Christ. My body, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, resist and reject every killer disease in the name of Jesus Christ. My body, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, reject and resist every killer disease in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord our God, you are the healer, the great physician. And we ask, O oh Lord, any organ in my body performing below expectation receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus any organ in my body any organ in my children's body if you are studying the God for anyone this morning pray that any organ in the body of my sister of my brother that is performing below expectation by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ receive life now receive life begin to function in the way that you have been, the God has ordained it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any organ in my body, any organ in my children's body, my grandchildren's body, or any member of my household performing below expectation, receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. I plug my life, I plug my children's life, or my sister's life. Anyone you are praying for this morning, if you are studying the gap. You, 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 thank God you are whole. Then pray for others who need the touch of God this morning. I plug the life of my sister, the life of my brother that need the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. I plug their life to the resurrection power, to the socket of the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug their life into the socket of the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let their life receive the resurrection power. Any organ, whether it is the liver, or the kidney, any organ in the body that is not functional, that need the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive resurrection power in Jesus' name. Amen. Declare this morning, I shall not die. I shall live and declare the words of God. Oh, my son, mention the name of that person this morning. That we pray for ourselves and for others this morning. That if you shall not die, you will declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my children, you will not die. You will live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my son, my daughter, you will not die. You will live to declare the works of God. My sister, my brother, you will not die. You will live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, mention the name and declare. Declare, have faith in, in the Lord Jesus Christ this morning and declare by faith with confidence that the Lord has said, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Therefore, standing upon the authority of the word of God this morning, I declare unto you, you will not die. You will live to declare the word of work of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that all arrows of a family fired against me, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, every arrow of infirmity fired against me, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the word of God says, the righteous is rescued from trouble and it comes of the wicked instead. Therefore, arrows of infirmity fired against me, fired against my children, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, every arrow of infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. You need to go 
back because the Bible say, whosoever dig a hole will fall into it. Whosoever throw a stone, it will roll back onto him. Therefore, every arrow of infirmity fired against anyone on this prayer platform this morning. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your center. Go back to your center in the name of Jesus Christ. Arrows of infirmity fired against me, against my household. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your sender. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thou power of the wasters. My body is not your candidate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Clear away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thou power of the wasters. My body is not your candidate. Clear away. Clear away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thou power of the wasters. My body is not your candidate. Therefore, clear away. Clear away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power of the wasters. My children's body is not your candidate. Clear away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Any cause of infirmity working against me in the mighty name of Jesus, let that cause die in the name of Jesus because the word of God say Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Therefore, any cause of infirmity, since I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, any cause of infirmity working against me, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any cause of infirmity working against me, working against my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Die in Jesus' name. Any cause of infirmity. For Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Therefore, any cause of infirmity. Working against anyone, any member of our household this morning. Die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Any ladder or pipe supplying evil current into my body. Break away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any ladder or pipe. Supplying evil current into my body in the name of Jesus Christ, break away by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, break away any ladder or pipe supplying evil current into my body, into my children's body, break away, break away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. My immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. My children's immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, when that immune system is so weakened, that is why you cannot fight in there. You, you, can, you, you begin to see all kinds of things. It's getting worse than worse. But pray this morning, my immune system, receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. My children immune system, receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. My sister immune system, receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray this morning, anyone you know that need the touch of God this morning, as they reach out on their behalf, touch the hem of the garment of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning for healing, for our, our fellow loved ones this morning that Lord let their immune system become unchallengeable by any infirmity in Jesus name amen yokes and covenant of diseases break in the name of Jesus Christ yokes and covenant of diseases the blood of Jesus Christ has made a better covenant and by the anointing the yoke has been broken therefore yokes and covenant of diseases break in the name of Jesus Christ break in the name of Jesus in my life in my household every yokes and covenant of diseases break in Jesus name break in the name of Jesus over my life over my children's life break in Jesus name in Jesus name amen any program of the spirit of death for my body be extinguished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ any program of the spirit of death for my body in the name of Jesus Christ be extinguished be extinguished by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ any program of the spirit of death for my body be extinguished in the name of Jesus Christ I apply the blood of Jesus Christ and the word of God say according to the word of God that when you agent of death when you see the blood you must pass over therefore I soak my life and apply the blood of Jesus over my doorpost I apply the blood of Jesus 
Jesus by faith over my doorpost. So angel of death, look at the blood of Jesus. Where you see the blood of Jesus, pass over, pass over my household, pass over my children's household. In the name of Jesus Christ, pass over. And any program of the spirit of death by, for my body be extinguished in Jesus' name. Amen. Which can sponsor infirmity. We now come close to my camp. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God say, with your eyes you will see it. They will not come close into your tent. No disaster will come near my tent. In the name of Jesus Christ, therefore, which can sponsor infirmity. We will not come close to my camp. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, which can sponsor infirmity. We will not come close to my children's camp by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Because we have taken the Lord, he has our refuge this morning, and we have made the most high our dwelling place. No harm will overtake us, no disaster will come near our tent in the name of Jesus Christ. So, which cap sponsor infirmity? You will not come close to my camp, you will not come close to my children's camp in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I speak war unto every troubler of the Israel of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak woe to every troubler of the Israel of my children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak woe unto every troubler of the Israel of my life, of my family's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak woe unto every troubler of the Israel of my life, of the Israel of my children's life. I speak woe unto the every troubler. In the name of Jesus Christ, woe unto you, you troubler of my Israel. You troubler of my children in strength, woe unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, woe unto the vessel sent by the enemy to do me harm. In the name of Jesus Christ, woe unto the vessel sent by the enemy to harm my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, woe unto the vessel sent by the enemy to harm me or my children or any member of my household. Woe unto that vessel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. By the power in the stripe of our Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the stripe of the Lord Jesus Christ, I chase every infirmity out of my body. I chase it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I chase out every infirmity out of my body. In Jesus' name, Amen. Every garment of infirmity receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of infirmity receive fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of infirmity in my household that has been put upon me, upon my children, receive fire. Receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet, every garment of infirmity receive the fire of God. Receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive fire. Every garment of infirmity receive fire receive fire in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen i drink the blood of jesus and I pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. I drink the blood of Jesus and I pass out from my body system every demon of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. They must come out. They must come out in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you, when you pray, you know, just be quiet. You can open your mouth and you can see you can yawn or you can pass out gas it, let it go do not hold it back in the name of jesus that every demon of infirmity i drink the blood of jesus christ and i pass you out from my body system out of my body you can come out anywhere come out from the hair from the mouth anywhere you can come out in the name of jesus just come out out in the name of jesus christ every demon of infirmity by the power and the blood of jesus christ we bind you and we ask you right now to come out by the power in the blood of jesus and in the name of jesus christ for it is written i the name of jesus every name must bow therefore every demon of infirmity at the voice of my at the sound of my voice this morning hear the word of the lord out out of that body 
out of that body because you are a stranger. You are a stranger. And the word of God say, the stranger shall come out of their hiding places. They shall flee away. They shall hasten away. So what are you are you waiting for? Out of that system, out of that body, in the name of Jesus Christ, any demon of infirmity residing in any body at the sound of my voice this morning, hear the word of the Lord. God out, how to get out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Every anchor of waster vanish from my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Every anchor of waster vanish from my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Every anchor of wasters vanish from my body in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, my Father. Let the power of the shadow of the Almighty overshadow me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of the shadow of the Almighty overshadow me, overshadow my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, I pray this morning, let the power of the Almighty overshadow me, overshadow my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Oh Lord, my God, make my body too hot for every demon of sickness in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father make my body too hot for every demon of sickness in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus father lord make my body too hot for every demon of sickness in the mighty name of jesus christ oh lord my god make my body too hot for every demon of sickness in jesus name amen my blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. My blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Any jam that has gone into the blood in the name of Jesus, that vaccination by the Holy Ghost will kill that jam in the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. My blood be vaccinated by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Diseases unto death. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Diseases unto death. I am not your candidate. My children are not your candidate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, die in Jesus' name. Diseases unto death. I am not your candidate. Therefore, die in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I render my body undivariable to eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God say, when they come to eat of my flesh, to in the fall, they stumble and fall. Therefore, I render my body undivariable to eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them begin to drink their own blood, eat their own flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ, I render my body undivariable to eat Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in the name of Jesus Christ. It will they call, can call it any name, they can call it cancer, they can call it anything that is drinking the blood and eating the flesh this morning by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the authority in the word of God. I render my body undivariable to eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in the name of Jesus Christ. I render my children's body, I render my, my, uh, my spouse, anyone that is sick this morning and render their body on the variable to eat us of flesh and drink us of blood in the name of jesus christ in jesus name anything i have eaten or swallow assigned to attack my head in the name of jesus christ die to your root in the name of jesus christ anything that i've eaten or swallow assigned to attack my head die in the name of jesus christ die to your roots in the name of jesus anything that i've eaten or swallow assigned to attack my head in the name of jesus christ die in jesus name amen every dark prophecy when what i mean by dark prophecy is that that's that scan that you receive, that medical report that you receive, sometimes it's a dark prophecy. Every dark prophecy, every dark prayer or dark wish against my well-being, I dash you to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dark prophecy, every dark prayer, 
uh, that which against my well being, against my children's well being, I dash it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every dark prophecy, every dark prayer, uh, that which against my well being, I dash it to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God says, I will deliver him, I will honor him. When he say trouble, he will call out God to me. Lord, I'm calling out to you this the morning. I'm calling out to you this morning, Lord. You promise you will answer us, Lord, when we call, when we are in trouble. So, Father, Lord, as many that has received the medical reports, oh Lord, and it's dark, oh Lord, God Almighty, this morning, Father, Lord, come, oh Lord, come, oh Lord, and answer us, oh Father, and turn the situation around, oh Lord, and intervene and manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell God, what is that report? that you receive or what is that you're thinking oh if i go to the doctor this is what you do go get that report and come and table it before the lord and let the lord have his way let the lord be glorified so lord if you have received that report bring it up before the lord cast it upon him this morning that father lord this is the report I've done my medical checkup. This is the report. Lord God Almighty, this morning, I'm asking you, Father Lord, that you will touch it, O oh Lord. That, Lord, you will raise it, O oh Lord. That, Lord, you will show forth your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I crush every serpent or scorpion of generational infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I crush every serpent or scorpion of generational infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. You know in your generation, this is the same disease that killed uncle or so 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 auntie so 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 or father or mother or great grandmother is the same thing. It's generational. Oh, you see in our family, high blood pressure or oh, diabetes. Oh, we have it. No, you are a child of God. This morning, your case should be different in the name name of Jesus Christ, every generational infirmity, I crush your head, every scorpion and serpent of generational infirmity, I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, therefore I crush your head, because the word of God said, behold, I give you power to tread upon serpent or scorpion, therefore I trample upon you, generational infirmity, the disease that killed my father, you will not kill me, the disease that killed my mother, you will not keep me because I'll be redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, every serpent and scorpion of generational infirmity, I crush your head in Jesus' name. I crush your head in Jesus' name. Amen. Power drinking the blood of my wholeness. Lose your power. Expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Power drinking the blood of my wholeness. Expire. Lose your power and expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Power drinking the blood of my wholeness, of my children's wholeness, of my grandchildren's wholeness. Re lose your power and expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your power and expire in Jesus' name. Amen. Agenda of waster for my family. Agenda of waster for my neighborhood. Agenda of waster for my city. Agenda of waster for my nation. Hmm. Be nullified with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every agenda of waster. They have put the agenda together for the year of 2023. It will not come to pass over me, over my household, over my my in my neighborhood, in my city, in my church, in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning, wherever, in my place of work, agenda of waste be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Agenda of waste for my community, for my neighborhood, be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified. Agenda of waste for my household, be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Agenda of waste be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us thank the Lord Almighty for this morning. Because 
because our Lord and our God, He has promised He will heal us. He is the healer. He said, Call out to me. And I will answer you. And I will show the great and mighty things. I believe He has begun to work of healing in our body. Thank Him. Thank Him for the healing that I receive my healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, heal me. Oh Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. For you are my praise, oh Lord, my Father. Just as Jeremiah said it in seven, Jeremiah 17 verse 14. He said, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Lord, we praise you this morning because you are our healer. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Before we continue our prayer, this morning, I want us to consider the word of God. And I'm titled it, You Want a Change? Make a Change. This is a new year. Concerning your health, you want a change? Make a change. And I will take us to Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I will look at that. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 says this, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. For this is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. You want a change? make a change there's a quote that says life does not get better by chance it gets better by change do you agree with that quote i agree that deliberate prayerfully planned and guided change is the key to an excellence and fulfilled life Many of us desire positive change in some or all areas of our life. But we do not know how to achieve it. However, the plain truth is that if you desire a change in any area of your life, you must make certain positive changes in that area yourself personal responsibility. The desire for positive change presupposes that the present state, condition, or situation is not perfect or excellent. So there is room for improvement. Change, therefore, could mean improvement. No, you want to improve your living room? Or you want to improve the outside? You give it a facelift, you want to reposition, or you want to, you know, metaphorsis like growth and development, or transformation that is making new altogether. Change does not just occur. You must work it out and make it happen. You need to be determined focus and persevering to achieve your desired change. Whatever be your resolution that I want that change in my life, whether it's in your health, in your career, in your business, in your ministry, it is possible. You need to be determined. Focus and persevering to achieve your desired change. You can make positive change in your spiritual life. 
that is working with God, your ministry, and so on, as well as in your physical life, your career, your marriage, your finance, and so on. And especially your body, your body. Your body. And I think that is where I want to lay emphasis on. Your body. Because the Bible says, we read it, it say, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. How do you do that? What are the things that you need to change in order to make you a living, a living sacrifice? By saying that, that means you can be, you know, you can be alive and not living. You may be doing some things either for God or for yourself, but the Bible doesn't recognize it as a living sacrifice. But this morning, we're talking about our health because your health is your wealth. Your health is your wealth. Anything you have in this world, if you do not have the health to enjoy it, it's useless. And look, but if you are, if you are healthy, I'm telling you, if you are just ordinary water you are able to drink, you are afford to drink, it will be like honey in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So what must you do for you? The practical, the personal responsibility. I believe in prayer and also I believe in taking personal responsibility. Because it's not everything. Lord, heal me, heal me, heal me. Some of this healing we are asking for is as a result of our personal neglect. That is catching up on us. You want a change? You must make a change. First thing, tips that I want to give to us. To have a healthy lifestyle. To maintain it. Wash out your weight. Some of us doesn't want to hear that. Some of us doesn't want to stay stand on the scale to know how much we weigh. We know we are putting it on. We see it bulging out on the side or the left or the front. A living sacrifice. Wash out your weight. That is the first thing. The number two thing. Limit on healthy food. Limit on healthy food. Limit it. Choose healthy food, nutritious food, you know, that have more protein and more fiber, less fat and sugar. Some of the oil that you cook with, they are dangerous to our health. All these vegetables oil. They are dangerous. And some of us, it's so, so sad for us that you don't even cook in your house. You will still go and buy the Ketra food and be eating it every day. Look, they are out there to, to, for business, to make money. They are not out that there for your health. That is what you need to recognize. Go to the store. Buy quality ingredients. Quality oil like olive oil, not, not a, a, a granola or what, not a cardona oil, whatever we call it, or soybean oil, and you cook with it. It causes inflammatory into your system. Sugar. Sugar comes in different forms. Some of us say, okay, I don't eat sugar. But you know, if you eat too much carbohydrates, if you convert to sugar in your body. So you want a change. You must make you must make it. It's your personal responsibility. And also you must take your vitamins, some of us because we do not eat enough um, you know, quality food, no vegetables, nothing. Make sure you take your supplements.
Now, this is the next one. Drink water. Oh, you say, I drink water when I'm eating. You need more than that. Drink water. Do you know, if you are having a headache, hmm, and you drink water, sometimes, because your brain doesn't know the difference, when the brain is dehydrated, it will signal, and you will have a headache. And then, when the brain see that the blood is not pumping much, you know, as it is, because of dehydration, and you will have high blood pressure. Do you know that if you start drinking more water, because that is what we need the blood to flow through your body, and we are talking of pure water now, not uh, not, not not mingle with anything. Water, water. It was said that if you you should drink as much as you weigh in ounces. Take for instance, you weigh hundred pounds. Then you drink 100 ounces a day of water, or half of it at the minimum, like 50 ounces of water at the minimum. So you know how much you weigh. Some of the ailments that we have, if you start drinking more water, the body is crying out, I'm dehydrated. That is why, you know, we, they will draw water from the kidney, draw water from every source they can drain, draw, draw the water. And their area where it is getting dehydrated will be causing you pain. The brain will be signal, I'm not having enough. So, water, water. First thing when you wake up in the morning, at least a glass of water. Well, no, not ice water. Just room temperature water. Drink it. And then begin from there. Drink water. And reduce your, limit your sugar beverages. If you can have. If you can go without it, it will bless your heart. It will bless your body. If you can forgo all these sugar beverages. Even the orange we buy in the store, you know they added sugar to it. If you want to drink orange, then you process it yourself or you drink the, the real orange yourself. Any food drink you buy in the store is already loaded with sugar. They may not put sugar, they can put any other name that is you know, in the group of sugar. Now the next thing is exercise regularly. You want a change? You want your body to be a living sacrifice? You must exercise regularly. Some of us, they say, oh, you know what? I walk every day. You know, all my work is standing up every day at work. No, that one is even killing us. You must take at least 30 minutes. You do not need to run. Take a brisk walk. 30 minutes, your heart will be glad. Your joints will be glad. You must determine to have a change. Exercise regularly. Be physical, active. Physical, active. And the, the next one is get enough good sleep. Get enough good sleep. Good sleep to you, it depends, you know. But make sure you get enough good sleep. Because there's a strong connection between the quality and the quantity of your sleep and your immune system. Your immune system will function properly if you can get up to eight or seven to eight hours of sleep. So get good quality sleep. And the, another thing is stay sober. For those of you who are still indulging in alcohol, determine to change. Stay sober. And the last thing I will say on this is that find ways to manage your emotions. Find ways to manage your emotions. Your feelings of fear, anxiety, sadness, uncertainty. 
I tell you, you know, go for counseling, look for help. Don't just say it will go away. If you know you are not feeling the way it's supposed to be, something is weighing you down. Have somebody you can confidently express yourself to. It's a good therapy. Have someone that can have a listen here. And, you know, if you are the one somebody is talking to you, sometimes you do not need to say anything. Just be dear for that person. Let them pour out their pain, their, their agony on you. Just listen to them. And God will relieve them. You see, when they are burdening, when you bottle it up, Sooner or later, you will start having all kinds of disease. So find ways to manage your emotions. If you are feeling sad, if you are feeling uh, depressed, seek for help. There's help out there. Seek for help. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So this morning, you want a change? Make a change. It is your responsibility. Your personal responsibility. So let us pray. That my father make me a positive change agent in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because when you change yourself, then you'll be able to affect others. You will be able to impact other people's lives. So let us pray that my father make me a positive change agent in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my father, make me a positive change agent in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my God, make me a positive change agent in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, is there any area of my life that I need to change? I need to watch my weight or I need to, this junk food that I'm eating every day. This junk food, no vegetable, nothing. Don't you no know, uh, eat rice early in the morning and uh, fufu in the afternoon and uh, what the fuck gari in the evening. They are the same group of food, starch. And it will convert to sugar in your body, and you wonder, my belly is bulging up, my side is bulging up, and I'm having diabetes. My sugar, you know, is going is skyrocketing, and I'm not. You say I'm not eating sugar. But these all these things, you need to make a change. Ask the Lord, what areas of my life? And I'm sure God is speaking to some of us that you know I've been telling you. The Holy Spirit is quickening you now. Say, I've been telling you. You keep saying, oh yeah, I will do it, I will do it. Why don't you ask God to help you this morning? Say, my Father, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Pray. I break loose from any form of conformity to the word in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you don't know it's worldly. It's worldly things. I break loose from any form of conformity to the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether in my living this lifestyle. In the way I eat, in the, in the you know, Lord, this morning I break loose from any form of conformity to the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, I break loose from any form of conformity to the word in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray that Holy Spirit open my eyes to see what I must change for my desire change to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit. Holy Open my eyes to see what I must change for my desire change to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Do I need to drink more water or do I need to forgo this soda? Oh, Father Lord, open my eyes to see what I must change for my desire change to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I pray you are my helper, you are my teacher, you are my instructor. Holy Spirit, open my eyes, open our eyes, Lord, this morning to see what areas of our life that we need to change, oh Lord, so that we can get the desire change in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, my Father, 
let your word renew my mind in the name of jesus christ you see the change we are talking about begin us to start from the mind nobody can force it on you that is why you say it's a personal responsibility Oh Lord, my Father, let your word renew my mind in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord, let your word renew my mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let your word renew my mind in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, let that be a divine and positive change in my career, in my finances, in the name of Jesus Christ, because God is still interested in all that area of my life too. Father and Lord, let that be divine and positive change in my career, in my finances, in my marriage. Maybe that is what is causing fear or anxiety. Lord, this morning I pray, whatever is causing fear and anxiety to you this morning, pray that, Lord, let that be a divine and positive change in my career, in my children's career, in the marriage, in their finances, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray, let that be divine and positive change in our career, in our businesses, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Or oh, let us pray that, Lord, change my life and my destiny from glory to greater glory in the name of jesus christ heavenly father change my life and my destiny from glory to greater glory in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father change my life and destiny from glory to greater glory in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen my father Make me a perfect example of a gloriously changed life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, make me a perfect example of a gloriously changed life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, make me a perfect example of a gloriously changed life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us begin to thank the Lord because we'll be changed from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. As we begin to change, O Lord, as we begin to renew our mind, O Lord, Father, Lord, we pray that whatever it is that needs to be changed, Lord, as we leave this prayer platform this morning, let it be changed begin, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord. We need your grace. And Father, we believe that with you we can do all all things to Christ Jesus who strengthen us, O Lord. So, Father Lord, strengthen us, O Lord, to begin this change, O Lord, so that it can be a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice for you and for the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day. God bless.